For storm track weather with meteorologist Christina Reese. Good evening, Northeast Kansas. Thanks for joining us here on KSNT News. We contended with a decent amount of cloud cover, but for some spots, it's a sunny end to the day. That's the case towards Junction City right now with just some high, thin clouds off in the horizon. Similar scene towards downtown Topeka. But when we got the breaks of sunshine coupled with a warm south and southwest wind, we warmed up pretty nicely. In fact, in Topeka right now, the temperature is at 44 degrees. But even with that warm south wind at 8 miles per hour, it is enough to make it feel slightly cooler out there with a wind chill of 40 degrees for the capital city right now. Across the board, for the most part, just some high thin clouds grazing parts of northeast Kansas. But we will start to see those clouds thicken up later on tonight. And a little bit of rain will push through as well as parts of this system clips us. All of this snow pushing off of the Dakotas right now will continue off to the east. It's really some of these lingering rain showers that are starting to pop pop up more so in Nebraska that will give us a slight rain chance for tonight. But we're talking mainly late evening into the overnight hours. Notice the time here is at midnight. A few passing showers for some of our northern areas. This sinks off to the southeast. By the time many of us wake up tomorrow morning, this is cleared out and the cold front follows with it. But if we have enough lingering moisture, a stray flurry or two can't be ruled out. No snow accumulation expected out of that, though. And we'll deal with a mix of sun and clouds throughout the course of Monday once again as well. But temperatures right now show you when this precipitation moves in, it will be a rain chance because we are on the warm side right now. The coldest spots have been our northeastern area, still 38 in Hiawatha as opposed to 50 on the dot for Junction City right now. But we did warm up for the most part because of that warm south and southwest wind still about 5 to 15 miles per hour right now that wind stays about the same throughout the course of the night it will start to change direction though as that cold front pushes through and that brings us that slight rain chance as well but those winds start to howl late in the morning into the afternoon tomorrow this is sustained winds at about 25 30 miles per hour we are talking gusts of 35 to 45 miles per hour at times for tomorrow and that's why a good portion of the area will be under a wind advisory from 6 in the morning till 6 in the evening for all these counties you see highlighted in tan right here and that's enough of a strong wind that uh, kind of loose items could start to get blown around weaker tree limbs could come down and especially travel from west to east on open roadways could be a little bit difficult as well so keep that in mind but even as those winds start to settle down we get that arctic blast to finally push in for tomorrow morning 20s and 30s will be the warmest part of the day as temperatures start to crash. Afternoon, teens and 20s, and even for Tuesday morning, some spots could get as low as the single digits. That's before you factor in the wind that follows with this Arctic blast that pushes in. The coldest air stays off to our northeast and east, but we will get enough impacts that wind chills could become dangerously low. Still a couple days away, though, so a cold start for Monday. Sub-zero wind chills possible in spots, even as we get into Tuesday, feeling like single digits and teens. Teens and 20s for the most part on Tuesday as well, but for Wednesday, this will be the really brunt of it. We are talking wind chills anywhere from 10 to 25 degrees below zero at that point. But here's a look at your extended day forecast. We will be dry for the most part. A couple additional snow chances possibly late for our southern areas on Thursday, but we do warm up heading into next weekend.